New developments in President Trump's removal of the State Department Inspector General Steve Linick, adding to several independent watchdogs that the president has ousted. He is under fire for this on all sides. Two congressional officials saying Linick was, in act, was investigating Secretary Pompeo's decision to approve billions of dollars of arms sales to Saudi Arabia, which Congress opposed. There have been other issues also raised. And this is, of course, the first of several. I want to bring in MSNBC national political reporter Josh Lederman. Uh, as mentioned, several uh, different uh, watchdogs have now been ousted. Um, it looks, at least to the president's critics, like something of a pattern. Uh, what does your reporting show? Well, that is certainly the concern that there is this pattern where inspectors general from now at least four agencies have been removed over the last several months. These are supposed to be the people who have keep an independent eye on the government's operations, provide accountability. Uh, but today we are learning new details throughout the afternoon uh, about the circumstances surrounding the removal of the State Department inspector general in particular. And we know now that there's not one, but at least two investigations that Litnick, the inspector general at the State Department, was pursuing at the time that he was abruptly removed from his job on Friday night. So yesterday at NBC News, we reported that the inspector general was looking into whether Secretary Pompeo had used a political appointee to do household errands, such as picking up the dry cleaning, making dinner reservations for him and his wife, even walking the family dog. Now, today, we can report, according to congressional officials, that the inspector general was also looking into the sale of arms to Saudi Arabia, an emergency declaration that the Trump administration issued last year that allowed them to circumvent Congress and the notification process that normally lets Congress weigh in on major arms sales to foreign countries. Instead, the president authorized Pompeo with an emergency declaration to sidestep Congress, sell these arms to Saudi Arabia in the middle of a lot of concerns about human rights, about how those weapons would be used in Yemen, as well as the aftermath of the Khashoggi killing. Uh, and now we know that the inspector general was looking into that. Officials on the Hill telling us that they believe that the removal of the inspector general was direct retaliation for these investigations that he was pursuing. We have been asking the State Department over and over again for comment. The only thing we have so far is a tweet from the Washington Post, which apparently spoke to Pompeo today, in which Pompeo said that the inspector general wasn't performing a function in a way that we tried to get him to do and was trying to undermine what it was that we were trying to do. That from Pompeo, the first on the record comment about the removal of this inspector general. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.